Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Danganronpa 2. In between episodes, I went ahead and I got a little chibi me, I believe that's its name, uh, up to max hope meter. I was told that I would not be disappointed uh, once I get the max and it evolved fully. So let's go ahead and just test that out. Uh, and I believe we're actually going to the beach right now. Yeah, we couldn't go in the diner because uh, apparently bikinis embarrass us. Ding dong, bong bing. Huh? That bell just now. Oh! A body has been it's discovered. the body. Okay, so ding bong bong ding is the, the, the body discovery one. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Oh shit, is today like going to be an investigation episode then? Oh! Is this the first time we, in like, the Danganronpa, like, 1 and 2? I mean, we've only discovered one body in 2 so far, but is this, like, the first time, like, the main hero hasn't discovered a body? Because I don't think we discovered any- uh, I don't think we did- I think we were there for every body discovery in the first one. Uh, a body? That- that's a lie! It's impossible! Who was that? Tch. That was... Oh, Kazuichi's voice. It sounds like he's nearby. Okay. I guess I could probably run, right? Where you at, dog? Oh, are you inside? Coming from in here? Yeah, Kazuichi screamed. Did I really hear it coming from in here? No. What am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. Wait, but... I thought the rule was three people have to discover the body, right? I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? As I raise my... Oh! Does it not have to be three people at a time? It's just three people in total? Oh... Okay. Right. As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. Dots. I I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. It can only be one person, right? Yeah. What the hell was that? Because she was the only one we haven't seen today, yeah? Oh, I guess we didn't see Neko, uh, Nekomaru, but he fought with Akane, so we knew he was alright. And we saw Gundam Man. Huh, if this was all a dream, uh, when, did I, when did I begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is Mahiru on the floor covered in blood? That's a lot of blood, too. I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. Deadly life. All right. Well, we'll see if the investigation starts this episode. I'm assuming it's going to, though. Uh, Mahiru uh, Koizumi, the ultimate photographer... Oh, and it's Sarah's voice, too. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Towards, towards us, towards herself. She was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? You know, Kazuichi, dog. Probably shouldn't be standing in a murder scene, grinning from ear to in. I know it's like his only default, <laughs> like, cutout for on the map screen. They probably should not have had that, though. They should have had multiple ones. The muscles of my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble, and I instinctively, instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it. Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We 
We're having a lot of fun. But why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me. I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh. Huh? Um. um. That's a proper reaction. <sighs> Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. Ibuki, uh, Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had the change and whatnot. It must have taken some time, but I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various lasers were paling off. My, sen my senses started to return around the time I realized that the others were already here. Huh? What the hell? <laughs> Why, my Ru? The girls were standing outside the door, landing, uh, leading to the beach, their faces pale with, te pale, pale with terror. Something like this. For heaven's sakes, what in the world's going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls begin wobbling towards the beach house. Until a voice stopped them. Hold it. Hold on a second. Hmm. Those things beneath you. Be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know, the footprints in the door, in front of the door. Uh, these footprints leading out of the beach house, right? They're probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Huh? You, if you mean evidence. Thoughts. Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold the class trial. What the? Another class trial? You serious? Then, are you saying this is... That's right! That's right! One of you guys killed her! Oh, killed? That's impossible! Hey, hey! It's not like an accident or something. How Why? could this be an accident, dog? There's a... What you do? Trip, fall, smash her head on the back, crawled over to the wall, and position herself slumped against it? How in, how could this be an accident? If you guys think this that's an accident, that mean that still means this death was caused by someone else's action, right? In other words, that also counts as a legitimate murder. Those such deaths fall into a gray area on this island. I'll, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's not impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Monami takes such good care. Uh, well, it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Monami takes such good care of people. Dots. What's this? Oh, speaking of which. Dots. Like there it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. <laughs> well, fine. I'm not gonna lose your to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. This, this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No way. Jeez, it's not my fault. Huh? Then, uh, huh? then whose fault is it, you ask? Yeah. To find out, we hold the class trial. So. Let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. Okay, so this is probably definitely going to be an investigation episode then. Do your best. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later in the class trial. <laughs> class trial. Investigation. This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Hey. Then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> that I did have the power before he appeared. Even if she tried to stop it, judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. <laughs> As Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras, the only thing I can rely on are these ears, and, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. You have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Do, do we have to do it again? That cruel thing, we have to do it again? Why? Cannot believe it. My hero was killed by one of us? Damn it! Uh, yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial. Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore it. The reason Mahiru was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because it's bad. 
Because it's, yeah, bad, I guess. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Jackie. Well? The killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Terra Terra 2. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that too. But even so, we should never forgive we'll never killing. I agree. I 100% agree. Doss. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Then let's do it! Mayuru probably wants us to do this too. She wa she wants us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I, I understand. If everyone's doing it, I'll, I'll do it too. But but please give me a little time. Please give me a time to calm myself down a little. Also, I will go and tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> I I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiro Ko, uh, Koi Zumi? Why was she killed? We gotta find out and solve this already. That's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more of the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. Investigate. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma files. The victim is Mahiru. Estimated time of death is 3 p.m. So we arrived at the diner at 3 p.m., right? So, at the very least, that means me and Soda Pop are in the clear, yes? And Gundam, because we ran into him. And Ibuki was there, yeah? Because she wanted to get, like, food. Oh, Ibuki and Mikan. Okay. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The cause of death is a single blow to the head with a blunt instrument. Uh, there are no other con conspicuous ex external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m., that's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the Beast House instead... Yeah, that sucks. We could have stopped it, right? No, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then, I'm going to find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. So, instantly, though, that puts a few people in suspicion though, right? Because we saw Yukuzo baby uh, as soon as we arrived at the diner, right? He was leaving and he was all flustered. And then we saw Hiyoko running from here around roughly the same time. Hmm. Bat. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiru with a blunt object. That blunt object is this metal bat, right? Huh, this metal bat. Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. Um. That girl was killed with a blow. T oh, yeah. It was killed with a blow from a metal bat, just like Mahiru. A lot less blood, though. Hey, hey. And it was red. Did you... Did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? Nah, I'm curious about the metal bat because it has blood on it. Yeah, that's exactly it. Sure, we'll lie. Did you play it too? Dots. And I'm sure you know this, but... The case this time is strongly connected to the Twilight murder, uh, murder case. Uh, tri Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahu's death, you probably need to solve the game's mystery too. But even if, we saw, if you solved the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguous, uh, ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with a game over. But were you able to beat it? Mm. I'm not some girl game who talks about video games she's never beaten. What? 
So, what am I... <laughs> what? <laughs> so... What am I... Oh, okay. You're, you're, you're talking about... Okay, you're talking about, like, uh... You're making reference to, like, the e-girl, like, posing type deal that people talk about sometimes. That they just pose like they're real gamers and they talk about it and... And they're not. Is that that's that that's the reference you're talking about? Okay. Took me a second there, because I didn't know what the hell you were talking about there. So what am I supposed to actually do to beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for so some reason. But for now, I should focus on the investigation. So it's okay to say that this metal bat is ob uh, absolutely the murder weapon, right? I mean, I'd be surprised if it wasn't. And we should definitely talk to everyone else. Oh my god, that is a lot of things. Uh, let's look at the mask. Huh. What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is that even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they'd actually stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um. A gaudy mask? Huh? Ah, that mask! You've seen this? Sun Witch Esper Ito. It's it is a f super fun anime with the viewership surpassing 90% in my country. An anime that has a viewership over 90% is Sonia's country really all right? It cannot be. <laughs> That's rude. Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If it's true, could it be? Could be what? Um, please give me some time! For some reason, unknown reason, uh, Sonia rushed out of the beast house. What's with her? It appears. It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Huh, for Sonia to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Pretty anime, m anime girl mask. Pretty. Really? Pretty? Okay, kind of creepy, actually. The creepy anime girl mask. Uh, I guess we'll check the doors too. So this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired. That's right. The shower is being repaired, so water won't come out. But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. The shower is out of order. Then isn't it just a waste of space? Just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken away from me. So I never got around to fixing. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so evil! Anyway, it is all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Ooh, uh... you, your Delphi eyes are telling me you think it's Monokuma's, uh, Monokuma's accomplice. You must have read my mind. <laughs> to think what you want of me. I've already given up. Got it? But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I'll help with that. What, the, what help? You're doing the opposite. Oh, uh, well, anyways, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check at the inside, too? So, do you want me to check the inside, then? Or what? Uh, let's check the bloodstain. I will check everything in the room before we actually progress. There's a blood stain on the floor, and they're uh, they're streaked as if she crawled through it. Oh, maybe she did. Maybe she did fall into bed. They're probably uh, streaked uh, from them. Wait, they're probably streaked from when Mahu tried to run during the attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away. It took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. Mm, I guess that's. Not that much blood, though. I think maybe they'd just be kind of, like, dripping down. Or splatter? I don't know. Uh, Buki! <laughs> this is too weird. Something like this weird should only happen in song lyrics. Fair enough. Uh, trash? Maybe there's a clue inside the trash can? That's what I thought, but... Huh, there's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess that's... it's not that easy, huh? Soda? Hmm. 
That's weird. What do you mean? Uh. Well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from, re from the refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a large variety of drinks. Man. Well, I guess I was just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Seriously, it's okay. I'm resolved to do... I uh, resolved it on my own, so just drop it. What the heck? You started it. What are you talking about? A lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I think there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left are uh, left in here look either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. Uh, Chiaki? How suspicious. What is this? This suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? See? You know the fruit prints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well? Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out the coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now you mentioned it, I thought the footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road. But it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beachside door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mahiru's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. That's when I noticed the footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading to the beach house, uh, leading out of the beach house. Uh, that's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now that you mention it, Peko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I don't know anything about this beach. Maybe. Is that really true? But those footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Huh, whose footprints are these? It appears. It's no mistake that are, these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who they might belong to. Dots. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yeah, it's probably an extremely important clue. Level up. All right, uh, Pe Petco, huh? Pico, Petco. I will never forgive killing. However, Jackie seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That is, it's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. Let's check this door. The closet door is half open. This last time I came here, that wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here. Oh, so we're just going inside. All right. Swim wetsuits, huh? Uh, this is a pretty spacious walk-in closet, but there's so much crap on the shelves and floor. Only one person could stand in here. But if you think about it, uh, but if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. So, I'm more interested in these, uh, these swimsuits up here. But look, one of them looks very familiar. Flotation devices, snorkels, and nets. There's also some paint supplies here. Huh, there's not much else that could be related to the, in the incident. Down here? What is this? Oh, it's a gummy? A gummy bear, apparently. Uh, huh. There's something on the floor. The, this yellow thing is a gummy candy. I guess gummy bear's trademark. Uh, finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Hmm. Up here. There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves, even surfboards in a uh, surfboard case. But there's not, they, they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto the shell, and some boards have been left out in, instead of being put into the case. And there's also an empty surfboard case here as well. Jeez, how careless. But I guess that's everything inside the closet. Okay, out we go. There's still a shower room I guess we have to look into. We haven't checked out Mahiru's actual body yet. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. I mean, technically she kind of is, dog. Is this 
Really the energetic Mahiru I knew? I see you're lying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high spirit or Mahiru, but we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slap both my hands onto my cheeks and face Mahiru's body one more time. Mahiru is leaning Mahiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. My, maybe Mahiru tried to run away. That's right, you can actually enter from the front of this place, right? I actually keep kind of forgetting there's a door to the front. Um, maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried and tried to crawl to the door. Evidence, evidence can be seen that the blood uh, in that and the blood stain on the floor, they're streaked as if she was crawling through them. But she has no blood on her front, so she didn't crawl like on hands and knees. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. But she doesn't have any blood on the front of her. That... One, if that is true, that's kind of an oversight, because... That doesn't look like she did that at all. So I'm going to assume she didn't. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. And shower. I guess I might as well check out the inside of the shower room, too. This is a really, really, a really nice, really spacious shower room. If this is, if this, if it's this huge, you could also see it as a dressing room. But changing the beast house, house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. That is a kind of stupid rule, actually. Toilet! It's a toilet! But you really can't use it as a step stool. Okay. Damn it. <sighs> I guess there's no guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. Well, we got these here. I guess I can just check those out. Oh! That's new. I thought they didn't allow cameras in the uh the bathrooms and showers huh uh here there's a window it's small but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow well it probably doesn't see mean anything if someone can crawl through it but i can't seem to take my mind off of it however the ceiling is really high so that window is only situated in a very high place it's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window. If that's the case, yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through it. Leave it to me. All right, I got it. I'll pinch it and help you out. Huh? Now then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pitch it and help? It feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. You, if you don't hurry, I'll punch you. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not going to matter. I guess her punching is her sign of affection, right? Fine, I'll just I'll leave it to you. <laughs> don't worry, my panties are clean. I, I see? That's good. What? I let out a deep sigh and bent over under the window. Right. As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. Ugh. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense why it would be reassuring, I guess. Hey! Your balance sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. Well, he's not really an athlete. You you're a lot heavier than I expected. He's also weak. Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. Well, that's good. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? You know, topics that we want to talk about during a murder investigation. Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. Um. I shouldn't have asked. Also. What? So, how's the window? Let's see. Hmm. See, see. So 
can, can we meet some of these people so I can hit them with a metal bat? D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. With the cunning on my shoulder, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. Hmm. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then it's not impossible to go in and out of that window. Hachime's just like, hernia! Yep, yep. Kani jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem uh, but the problem is, how are you how were they able to reach that window? Mm. Uh, even if I jump, I can't really reach it. <laughs> but if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean that the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a Kung Fu master? But even if they were, there was an accomplice, the person acting as the stepstool would still be inside. Like. But yeah, if but if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Uh, just one person person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? So. Yeah, like. I got it. A freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls, no problem, right? Dots. Huh? This is what I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out of the window. Huh, what the heck? And I, and I even took time to lend you my wisdom. You pissed me off. You're the oh, Jesus. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. You. Huh, it was such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. <laughs> ah, well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at him. He probably looked. But thank you for not showing. I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. I guess I finished investigating all I can, but there's still not enough, not enough, yeah, there's clearly not enough at all. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. It looks like I should investigate that again to find out what, why my hero was ki got killed. Oh, the murder game, okay. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat? That's the same weapon that was used to kill my hero. That, there's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Actually, In truth, the game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a reoccurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. A missing link. That's the killer's motive for the killing this time. Then that mystery must be hidden inside the game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. Dots. <laughs> I should ask her about it. No metal bat has been updated. Okay, so let's leave and talk to Chiaki. And probably, probably gonna have to go play that game again, right? Hi, Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki. There's something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Dots. Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I finished investigating once through. Yep. And let's go. Go. So... You want to know about the twi Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you, you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. So, let's go. Y yeah, you're right. With Jackie leading, I left the beach as Mikan has to still do an autopsy, right? By autopsy, I mean, like, look at the body, not actually cut her open. And head over to Jabberwock Park, where the unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never, never expected that person to be waiting there. Yeah, okay. Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagito? <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Whoa. Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mario got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing. But still, you guys are able to shine because it, this outcome is full of despair, right? This That's right. No matter how dark this, the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I feel bad for my group, this is quite exciting. 
How will everyone overcome despair this time? Looks like you feel no remorse. Yeah, that's a that is actually an adorable angry face. Jesus, as usual, he's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about Mahiru? Now, now. You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Uh, Monami. It's Monami. Yes, it was me. You, why'd you untie Nagino without anyone's permission? Um, did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. Okay, so... Monami, I was giving you the benefit of the doubt for, like, a while, but why? That's absolutely no. That's, you did a huge no-no, and what the fuck? <laughs> really? There's no way we'll get along. You already know what the kind of guy he is. But fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. We're not friends, Monami. He, what? Now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monami is making a valid point too. Shut the fuck up. You have no right to say that. But, but now's not the time for friends to fight. We're not friends. There's going to be a class trial for Mahiru, right? right? That's right. That, that's right. That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma. Enough. Enough already. Just go away already. <laughs> Understood. Najito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Man. Oh, well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of the game, so there's no real reason for me to be here. True ending. Now then. So although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I'll try to be useful in my own way. Hmm. Who do you want to be useful to, the killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'll always, do, I'll always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Hey, hey! Tie him up again! There's two of us! I mean, I know Chiaki's like... Well, kind of like a sloth, but at the same time, like, I'm sure she could like, I don't know... Trip him? Does she have a backpack? She has a backpack. Hit him in the head with it. Hajime, let's move. Just move and start the game. Thoughts. You're right. All right, over here. Even if I do play this, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Shiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. Hey, can I ask you something? Uh, oh, shit. Well, I, I should go check out that closet and shower again. There might be a Monokuma plushie in there. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So is there a walkthrough? Can you tell me about it? Well, when you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too, you know? That thing that was displayed on the game over screen? Is that... Down 5. Are you talking about the message that says down 5? That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you're down 5 drinks or something. It means you have to press down 5 times. Then the hidden command is... Oh, then the hidden command is... You just have to press the down button 5 times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to get the real game. Well, that's a trick, as expected from the ultimate gamer. Nope. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just, you either get it or you don't. In fact, Najito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Do I actually have to press the down button five times? Can I go back to the, the beach house? I need to press down five times on the title screen. All right, let's do this. Uh, on the... Open the new door to the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Press the down button five times with your own hands. One, two, three, four, five. Down five... Huh. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five. Oh. It was the D-pad. I couldn't use the analog stick, apparently. The screen changed. She was right. This is the real game. Twilight Syndrome Murder Case's True Edition. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It will start if I press the start button, right? 
Now then, let's begin Twilight Central Murder Case. Press the start button with your own hands. Now loading death. We open with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind the incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime scene. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, Girl E, is murdered by someone. Who named these girls? Like, was there was it the like the parents? It's like, oh, you know, it's a daughter, so girl A. Oh, sister, girl B. What in the world happened in this peaceful academy? By playing the missing first and third days, you will be able to understand that, that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in the truth, truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day when it, where it, all, when it all began. Put a lot of money into those uh, crawling text graphics. I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Chase, you're gonna go. We're gonna go home late because we had to wait for the slowpoke girl A. Come on, girl B. You know, you don't have to be that mad. Hey, hey don't t go taking pictures without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I'm, I'm not your friend? What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. <laughs> the way Girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking for looking to collect would get sick of their get sick of their stomachs. What? Huh, is Girl E here yet? Ah, apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. Oh, so I'm not the one holding you up. Excuse me. She can't find her swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen? S stolen? You know, you don't know. A pervert that has been uh, a pervert has been spotted in the area recently. <laughs> you should probably be super careful, girl A. A chubby weakling like you makes the perfect, uh, perfect prey. Chubby? Hey, stop it. Girl A is getting really scared. <laughs> it's fun to girly, uh, bully girl A. What was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking? It sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. I'm just gonna walk there. I go into this. I can't go into that room. All right. So let's run up here. Huh, huh. Girl E, what's happened? I don't know. I was walking by the front of the music room just now, and then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. So is someone's in there. That's what I think, but I I, look, I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're totally right. It's locked. Did someone lock it from inside? Is someone really in there? If we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open the door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. That's the, te the teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can just bring the key over in a secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. I found the key! No more was there, so it was super easy to get. And let's open it right away. Craig? Okay. Girl, you lead the way. Huh, me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Sure. I'm apparently an Amazon compared to the rest of you. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Hmm. Well, she's dead. I'm leaving. Okay. Hi. Sure. Hello. Was that a aquarium? Someone's lying on the floor. This. Is, she's not lying down. She's dead. D -d -d dead. That's impossible. Why? Yeah. Lower your voices. They might still be nearby. You're nearby. I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered, huh? Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? 
I see, so that's what happened. I found it, the kill escape route. Escape route? Could it be the aquarium? No, oh, the window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the windows breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything of looking uh, anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out of the window? But if that if, if, if they just happened to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? They they're probably trying to leave in a hurry? Look like there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel's uh, the gravel is shattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Are the fish all right? They're probably dead. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hall. But is that really it? I mean, the lo to lock the door, you'd have to either lock it from the inside the music room or use the lounge key. Oh, when I went to the music room, uh, when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer would have had to had, would have had to had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door would have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the music room, they'd need to have passed by us in the hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by, which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Level up, apparently. Okay. So... The clue, the clue there is someone actually used the, the window in the shower to, to get out, right? But... You would need two people if you weren't a ninja, <laughs> according to Akane. Um, we don't have any ninjas in the group, right? We have an ultimate gymnastic, an ultimate swordswoman, an ultimate team manager who looks like he could be an ultimate fighter. And then there's everyone else aside from those that is not very athletic, right? Oh, actually, I don't think I read that. Uh, oh, I can't open the transcript. All right. Huh? My school whoops, uh, swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole Girl E's swimsuit also murdered this girl over here? They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but ended up resisting. But she ended up resisting. So they frantically tried to get away and broke the window and escaped. Also, it's not often... That word is used in video games these days? Like, it actually took me a second to even realize it. That, that, that I just said that. They usually say assaulted. Uh, stolen school swimsuit. Actually, to be fair, it's actually almost never used for most part. I can't even think of another example in a game where it, it's blatantly, like, said, right? Not off the top of my head, anyways. It's usually assaulted. Isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around, too. That's bad. Uber bad. We better hurry and run. But... Don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. You also become a prime subject when you, like, subject when you leave after you find the body. Yeah, it'd be best if we left this room now we found, uh, now how we found it. Just lock the door and leave everything how it was. At least they're not messing with the crime scene, right? Hey, hey, please wait, don't leave me. Girl D. Ooh, Girl D, what did you do, Girl D? Girl D? Sorry, did I make you wait? 
So what's up? You asked me to meet you here? Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. Huh? What happened? I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the uh, the next door classroom as I as I was going home. What is it? Is it flowers? I actually, I think it's flowers. I can barely tell. I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think these broken boss pieces mean? Oh, it's a vase or oh, a vase, vase, whatever. Um, so it is flowers. Dots? The, that sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What? What is this? I, I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. So seriously, I don't know anything. It's okay. I'm sure I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girly? Are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You you didn't say anything either. I knew you do no. I knew that girl was who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She, she, she was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in our, in your photography club back in the middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Really, don't tell me you... That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family and family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I, I tried to talk to her, but that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next, so... I felt a sudden rage, and before I knew it, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness, but things would have been worse if she woke up, so... That's why I had to do something about it. That's... So Mahiru knew something. Is that the clue here? Because they're saying this game correlates with the murder, right? Uh, it's not my fault, nor yours. It's all her fault. Ah, uh, girl, hey. What's that? Fat bitch, girly, was it? Where did she was with her on the day of the incident? Huh. Looks like she threw something away here. What was this? the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be? The sound of the breaking glass was actually this? But why is it guy F? Where are the other... Where's guy A through E? If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of it? That bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Oh, looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that... I will never... I will never forgive her. So, Guy F killed Girl E? What? So, are there three... Potential... Wait, okay, so we have one victim, which I'm assuming correlates to... Oh, wait, no, so the initial girl wasn't Mahiru, right? The girl E was Mahiru. Yeah, because girl E gets cracked in the head with the bat, yeah, on day four? Okay, what does that mean? Wait a minute, what the f- What does that mean? Did Mahiru- Did Mahiru kill someone? D did Mahiru kill someone for- Girl, I was a girl D or something like that. I mean, girl, but girl D was the one taking the photographs, right? That kind of correlates with my career in her own right, but girl D doesn't die. Girl E does. Maybe it's not directly connected to the, the murder, right? Maybe it's just clues and hints. Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's right. The true edition. The incident's first day and the third day are depicted in it. Yep. 
Yep, now you're filled in in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey, Chucky, what do you think the characters? What do you think of the characters in this game? You mean like girl A and girl B? Their names make no sense, and they have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. While you were talking, while we were talking, looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it. Probably. What I want to know is on the staff roll. Producer Monokuma, director Monokuma, supervisor surprisingly Monokuma, plan scenario Monokuma, programmer Monokuma, graphics Monokuma, sound Monokuma, cast Tsumi Miki. Oh. Okay. Kind of wish you didn't scroll that fast because there's some names that I didn't recognize. Could be last names though. Wait, just now. See? See, didn't I tell you? Want to know who? Uh, what you want to know is going to be on there. Miracle! Yay! Congrats, Miracle! Congratulations! You finally beaten Twilight Sidra Murder Case. <laughs> now you guys have played this game through to the end. You should already know. That's right. The game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. Is that true? By the way, nonfiction means an original story based on a historical fact or record. Hey, answer my question. But even if this is nonfiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. The school life you no longer remember is in the setting of the school. Wait, the school life you no longer remember is the setting of the, for the school. Okay. Our school life? At any, rate, at any rate, congratulations. Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game, I won't give it to you. Ending prize? There's, there was only one ending prize and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Too bad. <laughs> How disappointing. Did you say ending prize? Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Man, I was too late. If I had known something like this was going to happen, I would have played the game sooner. Oh, it's the thing that Fuyuhiko had. But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how our how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought. So it's connected to, to to that this time, huh? Too. Wait, what? But is it really? Is it true? Really true? Were we already living at our school lives and our memories were completely taken? Is something that crazy actually possible? I mean, in this universe, yes. Then what did they do to us? You. It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who'd beaten the game. That the game is non-fiction. That, that it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So, do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories are taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving the mystery first. Whether we believe it, uh, believe it the motive or not, it's clear that the murder did occur. If that's the, if that's the case, then I need to question them directly. And if I do that, I might be able to learn something. Talk about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. That's right. If I can get information from them, I might find out something. About the mystery behind Mahu's death, about whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school uh, memories taken away... Hey, hey. Let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be the characters in the game. Oh, also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the contents of the game, uh, talk to me anytime. I see. Thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. All right, let's go. I want to go back to that shower, though, and the closet to see if there's any, uh... Hello there. <sighs> if there's any, uh, Monokuma plushes. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. The timing's too perfect. Were you waiting here? You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? <laughs> so you caught me. Wouldn't be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we sh must think similarly, right? Man. No, I'm being a little too, too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys. It's okay, you make a good point. Well. Does he? Oh, you made your point, not a good point. There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? Why the characters who appear in the Twilight's in the murder case? The girls must be busy with their investigation too. It'd be a waste of time if we both question them now. Bye now. If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. Dots. What should we do? Mm. I guess the only thing we can do is go. Guess you're right. I'm gonna go back to the second island, though. 
And that's not the way to the second island. That's probably the third island. And I'm going to go see the, uh, the shower room, I think. All right, fine. Fine, I'll go to the goddamn airport then. <laughs> hey, Hajime, over here. Wait, was Mikan in there? Mikan, Ibuki, Hiyoko are all here. Um, the names on the staff roll of the Twilight Murder System case were Tasumi, uh, Sumi, Miki, Kaiozumi, and Sayo on G. J. G. Sai on G. I don't know. Miyota, Sato, and Kazuryu. So these all are just the last names, right? I noticed Hiyoko on the name. Wow. I really want to you and his name as well. Fuyuhigo to come too, but he locked himself in the cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Sorry. So unfortunately he's absent. It's probably because I'm too incompetent and I'm, I apologize. What? It's okay to be, it's okay to be absent? I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie. <laughs> a lie? Oh, you tricked us. What the? Well, we needed to talk to you anyway, Siyoko. Jeez. Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. Can you wait until we finish our business with you? Right, right, Hajime? This is like, I'm on the same team as N Nagito. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. Okay, so clearly we saw you running from the beach house, right? So, hi. Not I can't believe you actually tricked us so we come to this place. I have nothing to say to impudent regular people like you. Regular, huh? She's right after... She's right that I might be a regular guy, but... I also have an ultimate talent, or at least I should have one. Okay. Mabuki? Hey, Buki, can I ask you something? Why? Bring it on! Have you played Twilight Cinder Murder Case? Aww. Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those. Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. What? Pretty sure that's a lie, but not now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy, there was a character in the game like that, too. Let me ask you one thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? <laughs> <laughs> you mean that in a per do you mean that in a perverted way? No, I mean in that in a normal way. Aww. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Maki was, uh, hmm. Oh. Well, and I asked Maki this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. A disappointing face? I see. Yeah, but I disappointment see. varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with the apartment store rooftops. Let's stay focused on Mahiru. That's totally it. Turns out, Mahiru had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans, do you know what she meant by everyone? Aww. Nope, I didn't ask. Let's see. My group invited Ibuki. Why? Mikan? Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Cinder Murder Case, Mikan? Um, no, 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 no. Since we said we weren't going to play that game, also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow, and I panic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure that girl A character was like that too. Hey, hey. Anyways, can you tell uh, tell me about your relationship with Mahiru? <laughs> relationship with Mahiru? Well, I first met her um, when we gathered at the classroom with everyone, and after arriving at the island, I had a few conversations with her. But uh, oh, could it be? Did Mahiru hate me? Uh, that, that's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything, but no, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even, but even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Huh, invite? <laughs> uh, Mahiru invited me this morning. This morning? She looked very serious. She was wondering if we could all meet up so we could dis she could discuss something. But I had already plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she will schedule for another day. <laughs> but if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. Or you might have been dead with her. I even invited Mikan. Why? I see. Huh. <sighs> Looks like we've attained some pretty valuable testimonies based on that. Seems like Mahiru also beat that game. Why? Why do you know that? You don't know. If she hadn't. She wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> just like that. Uh, just like what we're doing right now. But still. But in her case, it was much more serious, probably. 
I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in the game. That's true. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mahiru would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Nikito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? Huh? What? I remember. Anyways, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying that she had some business to take care of? Why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. How mean. Temp, that's a rude thing to say. No, that's, that's disrespectful toward Mahiru. Mahiru. Isn't that There's right? There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. And at the time, she was clearly considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. What the heck? Well... But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She was... She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. Hey. If Mahiru spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too, right? Well, Hiyoko... She never talked to me at all! That's weird. Man, what a surprise! I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Hi. So, I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now! Hey, Hiyoko! Okay, she's lying completely. Ignoring my voice, Hiyoko ran away as though she was she was avoiding me. It looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided. Now then. Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so... Why do we part ways for now? Why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. I'll see you again later. Hey, wait. What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Chucky, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we just investigate there, I think. See? She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? No, we already know that Fuyuhiko has it. Mm. That's your cue to say yes. Mikan? I mean, maybe, but... Let me just check the map real fast. Am I able to actually go back to... I can't. Okay. Let's go back to the uh, cottages, then. This would be her cottage. In we go. Door looks unlocked. Moving after your moving after your told would be two third rate, so I made sure to be one step ahead. However, moving what's inside is a huge no no. There's other there are others who want to investigate too. Dots. I guess I should go inside. We can't take anything from here. Shocking. I see the Monokuma plush. Come here to my room. The cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting through the room. That proves Mahiru was here, but she's not coming back. Did Mahiru smell? Oh, she did have the pamphlet thing here. Then I should try looking for a naughty book. Why? Yep. Now, now, I was only kidding. Kidding? What are you? What kind? Of, are you that kind of person? Geez, well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? See? But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on the top of the bed. On top of the bed. Didn't we? Fuyuhiko had one of those though, didn't he? Maybe Monokuma had two? No. Whoa, I got a lot of coins. I should probably spend some of those at some point. There's an envelope on the bed. Hey, hey. Could it be? This must be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat the game. Um. What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope, and what came falling out was a few photos. Ah, oh, this photo! This is a pit photo of Mikan, Ibuki, and Yoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like the game. There was a similar scenario during the first day in the Twilight uh, True Edition. Girl B was in the bad mood because Girl A was late, and Girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. Okay, so girl D was Mahiru, girl A was Mikan, and girl B was Hiyoko? Is this the photo she took? Entrance hall photo, okay. Look at this photo too! 
That's the vase. It's a lot clearer, though, and I can actually tell what it is. A broken vase. Is that the same photo girl D showed girl E on the third day? If I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. But this photo is more shocking. As Chiaki showed the photo to me, I was stunned in silence. Dots. This is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like this is the music room. If that's the case... Could this be the photo of the first victim? You mean, it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Yeah, the one they blamed on the pervert. Okay, 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 okay. So, girl A is Mikan, girl B is Hyoko. Girl D was Mahiru. Girl E and Girl C are a mystery, yes? I'm assuming... Okay, no, no, no. So, Girl C is Ibuki. Yeah? Who the hell's Girl E? I didn't get a good look at the credits. And even then, it was last names, and to be honest, I don't really memorize their last names that easy. Because, well, I have a hard time remembering their first names sometimes, depending on how hard it is to pronounce. And one more. This is the last photo. Well. That would be Girl E. Girl E is very dead. This is probably the photo of the girl E after she get killed on the fourth day. I mean, it nearly matches her body in the, in, in the game. See? Yeah, there's no mistake. This is the photo of girl E. Okay. I don't know. With, with that, we finished looking at all the photos. So based on all these photos, it's pretty clear this is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight and what's depicted in these photos proves that Twilight's Cinder murder case is based on an actual murder. Does it mean this, that stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh, huh what is, what's this? Is there something else? See? There's a note inside the envelope. Why playing? Okay, twi try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. This note. Wait. Time out. Maybe the first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize wasn't my hero. No, it's was Fuyuhiko. Someone else sent this to Mihan. Uh, Mihan. 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 Mahiru, what is Mihan? I that is the name of someone in a, in a game or an anime, I think. One sec, I gotta Google that. Like I heard that name and phrase before. It might not actually be a character though. Mihan. Mihan sounds so goddamn familiar. But I'm googling like character name Mihan. Uh, a few different spellings because I'm not sure which one would be the proper one. Did not really bring up anything. It sounds so clear in my goddamn head. Anyways, someone send this to Mahiru. I just press B because I'm an idiot. Uh, and that person the one who actually received the ending prize. Mahiru wasn't just lured by Nagito. She also received an envelope. Yep. And that's why she played the game, right? Then the person who played the game first is... This envelope looks very familiar. And the word sister written in this note... Based on these clothes, I can't think of anyone other than him. So he has a sister. Hey, hey. Yep, I'm glad we came here to investigate because we did. Uh, we discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mahiru, but there's not much le time left. I need to hurry. Um. Oh, sure. Let's look out the window. We didn't have that many options in the last few rooms we were in. 
What about these photos? These photos, Myers must have taken them. She probably developed them at the supermarket. Even in this situation, there's, there's a lot of photos of smiling people. Is that because of her personality? Oh, bathroom? There's a shower room past this point. Even though I'm investigating, it feels awkward to go in there. Looks like there's no clues either. Alright, Chiaki, is it cool if I leave? Or underneath the bed? It's a normal bed, nothing much here. Okay. Hello. Yep. Okay, same thing as before. Sure, I'm leaving then. Goodbye. Can I go back to the crime scene? Because I want to see if there's a plush there. <laughs> Hajime and Chiaki. Uh, what a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's the charm, so they say. What coincidence? Are you stalking or something? Now, now. Don't say that. I, I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results, do you find something? I'll let you know if you drop to your knee and lick my shoes. Huh? Just kidding. I, I was joking. It didn't sound like you were joking to me. Actually. That's about the footprints. The killer left them left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did did you find out who those footprints are? <laughs> you wanna know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. Good, that's where I was going. With you. Of course of course you'll come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, but if I can get a clue. What are you gonna do, Chiaki? Dots, I'm gonna try and talk to Fuyuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. So, so I'll leave this to you. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tried to talk to him, it'd probably be it would be possible. But it might be different with a girl. Just be careful what he does. Uh, what? Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Dots. Yep. I guess this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. What? Huh? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait there. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Jackie's kind of cool. I'm going to just run over to the beach house, I guess. After thinking about it carefully one more time, I nowhere. definitely can't remember any Lovey Duffy encounters between Ibuki and Mahiru. I didn't ask you if it was Lovey Duffy. Apparently, uh, Mikan was invited too, but Ibuki has no idea about that either. Oh, oh, oh. Like, if I was going to be... Uh, <laughs> If it was going to be a sticky, gooey encounter between Abuki, Mikan, and, Mah and, uh, and uh, Mahiru, <laughs> I just have no idea! Go gooey? Anyways, it just means she doesn't know the reason why Mahiru invited both her and Mikan. Yeah, I decided to stop here because she was like the only one left in here. They came to the library because Nekomaru is here. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's you, Hajime. How's your investigation going? Well, so so. Not. That it matters, but not, uh, Nekomaru and libraries don't really mix. Damn it. Another killing. What did Maru do to deserve this? All I can do for Maru is find out who the killer is and teach him a lesson. Huh? That reminds me, Sonia was here just a while ago. She seemed excited about finding some new information and headed towards the beach house. She did. I remember she said she had an idea about the mask we found near Maru's body. It might be better if I confirm that with Sonia one more time. Okay. And I think Gundam's actually at the diner. Oh, actually, I was waiting for that. So she's in cocoon phase now. Okay, and a hundred more steps until it grows next time. In the, in we go. Yeah, when I looked at it, to clean her up uh, after the toilet and stuff like that. I was like, oh, you got eighteen stuff left. I'm like, okay, I'll just go a little further. Hi, right, Gundam style. What's up? So you have I was right, huh? What happened? I already assumed you would come here. There is nothing you could hide from me, the Supreme Overlord who wields the four Dark Davis of Destruction. Thus I know everything. For instance, I have to know your fiends who are preoccupied with your infantile beach play. It matters not, for what I love is silence and solitude. That's right. That's it. That's just price, just pr precisely it. I see, so he wanted to be invited to. Good for him. Go to the beach house. It looked like Nagito was... Outside? Hi. Now then. So is it? It's Najito, not 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 Nagito, Najito. I, I, I keep switching back and forth. Let's try going inside. I mean, I was. I guess I could have done that without you. My. Nagito, uh, Naj Najito. Whoa! Uh, why the hell are you here? Hello there. Why, oh, hello everyone, Kazu. Uh, hello there, Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on you earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think I'll, uh, you clearly think like an ultimate. What the heck? Ah, this bastard. 
We can do it again after this trial. You two have arrived at a good time. Good news. I have discovered something terrible. <laughs> something very terrible. A terrible discovery. Um, not only that, I believe it's nothing like Sonya's, but there's something I noticed too. You too, Mikan? <laughs> this is great. It looks like the investigation is reaching the bo its boiling point. Yeah, about that though. Closet. Thank you. Let's see. Get out of here. There's only room for one person here. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I probably don't have to go to the shower then. Uh, I've been found. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that bad actually. Kind of like out of bounds though, because you were in the ceiling. Okay, Sonia, what up? Listen, I have big news. Huge, huge news. What's the big news? Remember the Sun Witch Espar Ido mask that was next to Mahiru's body? Oh, oh, the mask the killer used to hide their face? Listen. No, that is not correct. The mask was not just used to hide their face. Then what is it for? Well, Sparkling Justice. Huh? Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. Dots? That is Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be more surprised. Hey. This sparkling justice character. That's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, but... No. It is a heroine mask, to be precise. Sun Witch Esper Ido is a pretty witch girl. She... See? A heroine! Anyways, so you're saying it's possible that the serial killer is the one who killed Mayuru? Mm. Which means there's a serial killer hung in mine, uh, among us. I'm pretty sure I've been a, I've seen a twist like this in some video game. This is stupid. Serial killer my ass. The killers just use it to cover their faces. That's weird. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... However... Although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Okay. The hell? Justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. So Sonia the serial killer? That would be me. Dots. What the heck was that? Well, that that is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase. What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. There was there has only been one person, a journalist, who was interviewed who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. However, however, in the end, the journal the journalist was punished by S Sparkling Justice too. <sighs> uh, no good can come from getting involved with a serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um. This is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the mask, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer in hiding in our group? Listen. No, it does not mean what they're, they're in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on the island all along before they decided to murder Mariru. Wow. That's probably not possible. But that is the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Uh, that one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonia, I, I do understand Sonia's feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on the island. Dots. And Mikan, you had something? Mikan, you had something to say too, right? Well, I compared... Compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it. Just get on with it. Um, I tried my best to perform the autopsy, and I was able to find out Mihiru was definitely killed by the blow to a head. She was probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. But every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say, um, and it looks like Mihiru didn't suffer. What does that mean? Um... There's no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant? That sounds a little strange. I think I better remember that. 
hey, clearly she didn't crawl over to the door, right? Because she doesn't have any blood on her front. And there's another thing I found. I'm sorry I started talking on my own. Were you busy right now? Just tell me. Um, during the autopsy, I discovered that this is this in Maharu's pocket. Uh, it seems someone wants to interfere with our meeting. Oh, let's just read it from the text and not the picture. Uh, actually, no, it skips it. It seems that someone wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it discreet. Until then, let's try to see each other. Let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't. Uh, but I couldn't find you, so I put in your mail. Uh, but what we discussed earlier is it okay if we change the place and time? I need to come to the beach house on the second island at 2:30 p.m. Seems there's someone. Okay, and this is the part I just read. Yoko, this letter. If this letter is real, it would mean Hyoko met up with her Mahiru, right? Plus, Mahiru's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m., and they met 30 minutes prior. If you think about what that implies, then... I'm, I'm starting to get confused. It's true. What does that mean? What happened between Mahiru and Hyoko? I mean, Hyoko likes candy, right? And we found a gummy in the closet. And we saw Hyoko running away. Okay, is anyone else? Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how were you able to find that out? I, I have to listen to everyone's story at the airport. I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he suddenly let me in. That bastard, he did something shady again. Now then. Why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Nadita squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Come on, Hajime, look at take a look. Oh, you you outlined everyone's footprints. After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all these. Those footprints. I see, so the reason you snuck in everyone's cottages was Yep. Yeah, that's right, I wanted to get a sample of everyone's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko didn't, couldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprint belongs to this person. Whose footprints are they? Yep. Hiyoko's. Yeah. Hiyoko's. Well... To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. So she snuck her- uh, she shut herself inside a cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps. So I figured if I lured her out, I she wouldn't be in the hurry to get back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. <laughs> But it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected uh, there was smaller than anyone else's, and it matched the footprints to the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. These are Hiyoko's footprints. Uh, footprints on the beach. Um, also, it's not like anyone, not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting in her cottage. See? I found a, a lot of these candies inside her room. Gummies. That's. They're gummy candies that. Come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. Which one of those is yellow? Did you... Wait, did you say lemon? No. Orange. Is orange yellow? That doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't it be orange? There is orange in there. Is it melon? Anyways, it looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently, she really likes this brand of gummies. There should be, there should have been other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. People are like that sometimes. There are people who will only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. What's, what's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if it relates to the incident, but I thought yeah, I should tell you just in case. Just in case, coming from this guy, that means it probably, it's probably greatly related to the incident. Gummy bag. We found a gummy, so... Ding dong, bing bong. I think it's too obvious that it would be Hiyoko. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end! Come! Now is the time to fight the decisive battle!
I mean, I don't think they would make it too that easy, right? There's got to be some sort of twist. The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits. The I mean, trial is finally raising its curtain. It w I guess it would be a nice change of pace if it was just the obvious answer, so right? We'll meet up in front of Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. But I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like the game would do that, right? Now then. It looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting the class trial where our hopes and the killer's hopes are finally clash. <laughs> but it's all right. Either way, hope will win in the end. All right. Now then, let's go prove it. <sighs> oh, what's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyways, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house and uh, the house and Mahiru's body. Okay. Well, let's head over to Monokuma Rock. We're definitely not starting that right now. We'll uh, we'll start it next episode, and it'll probably last two episodes, give or take. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's too easy to say that Hiyoko did it, right? Gummy in the closet. Um, suspicious looking letter. But here's the thing. Oh, uh, apparently my Digimon has evolved. Oh, it's, it's, uh, Yusami. It is Yusami. It is literally Yusami. Um, but... Oh, I'm guessing if I let it go all... Oh, no, if I go all the spirit, it dies, right? Anyways, what am I trying to say here? Uh, yeah. It, all the evidence, for the most part, is pointing to my... Not my hero. She's dead. Is pointing to Hiyoko. Footprints leading out of the building. Gummy in the closet. Suspicious letter. The fact that she said that uh, my hero hasn't really talked to her that much. Clearly, we saw them bathing together because we're fucking perverts, apparently. Um... And that then she was treating her Mahi like a big sister, right? That being said, the way Mahiru died, I don't think it could possibly be Hiyoko. Like Metal Bat, Hiyoko's tiny. She's not that strong, right? She's also short, shorter than Mahiru. So getting a good swing off that that hit someone in the head that killed them instantly with enough force. I don't think Hiyoko could do it. On top of that, to drag her over to the door and position her would also seem out of the realm of Hiyoko's physical abilities. So I'm going to say it's not Hiyoko, though I'm sure that's going to be argued in the trial. Next up would be Fuyuhiko, given what we saw in the game and the fact that we know he beat the game first because he had the envelope. I don't know. I can't, I'm gonna have to go back and look at those uh, credits again when I'm editing the video to see the names on there. Because they went by for too fast for me to actually recognize the names. Um, if we go to the report card. Like, yeah, his name was on the Twilight Central thing. Is anyone else's name? There was like a Sato there, right? But we don't have a Sato here. But So he was involved in the game. And that being said, there was only one character that was male in the game, right? That was Guy F. Which is, heavily implies that killed girl E. So... But apparently the, the first victim was potentially his sister? If that is the case? I mean, the note even said that, right? So obviously he would probably be a prime suspect too. Thing is, also small in stature, 
also probably doesn't have the physical capabilities of doing that. I know you can't always judge a book by its cover, and I know it is very anime video game like trope for a small person to be super strong. That th this series has not gone that far to say someone like you know Fuyuhiko or Hiyoko could potentially have like the the physical capability of doing something like that, right? Apparently he's a foot taller than Hiyoko. It's kind of hard to imagine that from. It's only two, in uh, three inches smaller than Mahiru. I find that hard to believe, to be quite honest. But I guess you can't really tell by images. Still, he's not very bulky, right? He's not a. Tr he's a Yakuza, so he might have some training in fighting. But he hates his milk, so he doesn't have the muscle strength. How does that relate, Kronos? Don't worry about it. Drink your milk, kids. To kill someone in one hit with a metal bat, you have to be physically fit to do that. Like, even, I would say, you know, Byakuya here would be able to kill someone. He has a lot of weight behind his swing, right? He might not be physically fit, but he has a lot of force behind his swing. So... I mean, it is a metal bat, metal bat to the head, which is a lot, but to die instantly, realistically, you need a good force behind it. And I really don't know who could possibly be the actual killer, because I don't, I actually don't think it's Fuyuhiko. Um, I don't think he'd be physically able to do it. I mean, he m might... Yakuza, criminal person, sure. He might actually be able to kill someone, and from the game, it seems like he has before. Being said, with one hit, I mean, I guess the girl in the game might have been killed with one hit? I don't know. They didn't really say that, right? They just showed a picture of her with the bat. I mean, over time? Okay, so here's the thing. I say instantly. Someone like Hiyoko and Fuyuhiko probably could kill someone with one, sw one swing to the head, right? But it wouldn't be instantaneous. There would be blood, like, bleeding in the brain, which would eventually kill someone. It would be a little while, though. Not, not, not like, too long. It wouldn't be like, well, well, no, it could be a couple of days, depending on where they were. Um, but it wouldn't be instantaneous. I mean, that's my argument there. Uh, I really don't know. I guess it would have to be one of the, the strong fighter types, though. If, if I'm going by that logic, we only have three people. Akani was covered in blood. And she's a gymnast. That's not that far off from murders. Not murders, uh, ninjas. That's pretty far off, but she did bring up the valid point of a ninja would be able to actually jump up there, and she's a gymnast, right? So, but, you know, Nekomaru could, but then again, if he hit someone in the head with a metal bat, this dude, and even her, I think the head would be caved in. But then again, they, they probably don't want to go too gory, right? Hmm. But she does dislike working hard, so maybe she wouldn't go that far to actually ever kill anyone because it requires a lot of work. Um... Yeah, I gotta say, I don't actually know. I don't even really have a guess. I My, my guess is it would have to be one of the fighting type ultimates, right? That's my guess. But who? I don't know. Like, we didn't see Nekomaru. You know, Akane was... Covered in blood, though she said she got fighting Nekomaru. Um, you know, Peko showed up, I think, after Akane. Oh, no, before Akane. I don't remember what order they came in. She said she was swimming at the first beach. So, okay, yeah. I guess we could probably ask these two if they were actually together and they would have an alibi. But. We haven't actually asked any of them, so I guess at this point, none of them technically have a solid alibi, right? Though I guess we could just ask them in the future to clear it up. 
Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We'll go to the trial next time and actually figure out who the murderer is. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you have my video section, check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.